Hi guys, Saya here, and today I am doing a review on Love Stage. No, not really. Never heard of it. <laughs> Just joking. What about Girls Beyond the Wasteland? Nope, never heard of it either. <laughs> in today's <clears throat> excuse me, in today's video, I'm doing Sailor Moon R, the movie. Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Now, I can't remember exactly when this was supposed to be released. I thought it was a little bit after Easter, like the day after Easter or before Easter or something. But, um, rightstuff.com shipped it out, I'm pretty sure, fairly early. And I just got it in the mail this morning. Now, they did release it in the theaters for a short time. I actually never got to go see it in theaters because it was playing um, in a theater not so close to me and I was working on the days that it was available and I didn't have a way of getting there. It was crazy. So I just went ahead and pre-ordered it on Right Stuff. This is the combo pack, Blu-ray and DVD, but there actually is no um, gift with purchase for it. So but that's okay. I mean, it is the very first movie. But I have not watched it. I have not heard um, the voices. Well, except for the Guardians, of course. But I don't know about Fiori. I don't know about um, the flower, the, any of it. But it's really pretty. I love the purple with the shimmery on it. And on the back, it has, for the first time in stunning high definition. I believe this is the first time ever um, one of the movies has been released. I think on what well, is on for the first time on Blu-ray, but... Maybe not on DVD. It's been so long. Um, but it says Sailor Moon and the Sailor Guardians unite to save Earth from an alien force. When he was still a child, Mamaru gave a single rose as thanks to an alien boy who helped him cope with the loss of his parents. Since then, his long-forgotten friend, Fiori, has searched... Or, I wonder if it's Fior now. I don't know. I don't know how they're saying his name. Has searched across the galaxy for a flower worthy of his gesture. Fiore's final choice is the beautiful Zinian flower, which has a very dark side. It has the power to fatally drain energy from human life. Now Sailor Moon and the Sailor Guardians must go into space to stop the impending destruction to save Mamaru. It says it's a two-disc Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. 1080 HD English and Japanese audio, English subtitles. It has makeup Sailor Guardian featurettes, cast interviews, and the LA premiere QA and more. It's pretty nice. Now let's see what it looks like without a little cover on it. It's on there pretty good, huh? Okay, so basically it's the same, it's just without the shimmery part. That's the side. Love it. That's the other moon are the movie. It's got a brooch. Same back picture. Let's see what this one here. Yeah, just shimmery. Okay, so now opening it up. Oh, that's pretty. It's different. There's no guardian on it. It's just clear with the crystals, kind of, sort of. That's the DVD one. Huh. <clears throat> and then this one here is the Blu-ray, which is pink with the crystals. They kind of make me think of the uh, Seven Rainbow Crystals from the classic Sailor Moon um, R. Or was that? No, that was the first half, I think. Oh, I forgot. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the DVD one is it's pretty. It's just, but it's kind of plain. It's clear. This looks like, oops, a DVD thing. Hmm. And there's no picture in the back. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They could have put the villain on there. They could have put the flower on there. They could have put something on there. 
I mean, considering the classic stuff and Sailor Moon Crystal has been getting these beautiful pictures on the back sleeves, the pictures on the DVDs and the Blu-rays of a guardian or a villain or something. And then we finally get the first movie and it's kind of plain. <laughs> um, well, I'm still going to watch it and I'm still happy I have it. Um, because I, the first movie wasn't my favorite um, at the time when it was the only one that came out. I think I remember watching it on Toonami on, uh, not Adult Swim, but when Toonami had a lot of the anime stuff going on during the day. And they would have, like, movie Friday or something, and they would have Dragon Ball Z movies and, uh, Sailor Moon movies. <clears throat> And that was when I got to see Sailor Moon R for the first time, and it was good. And then they did Sailor Moon S, and then they did Sailor Moon Super S, which was Black Dream Hole. And Black Dream Hole is actually my favorite of the three. Um, but I can't wait for those. <laughs> those will hopefully, I don't know, be soon, but probably not too soon, I imagine. But um, that's basically it, guys. It's Sailor Moon R, Blu-ray, and DVD. And I still recommend the Blu-ray, you know, because why not? <laughs> it's the first time it's ever been on Blu-ray. That I know of for sure. So, anyway, I hope to see you guys in another review um, when the next Sailor Moon item comes out or if I get some more Yu Hakusho stuff or something. And I will see you guys then. Bye.